And members of Ohio Task Force One are now on the ground in Hawaii, helping in the recovery efforts. Abby Forbes spoke with members of the team tonight. And Abby, when was the last time they actually heard from the team on the ground? Yeah, so the last time the members here in Ohio spoke with the team members in Hawaii was around noon today. And I'm told that they had a busy day of work ahead. Boots are now on the ground in Hawaii. Ohio Task Force One K-9 teams lending a hand in recovery efforts from what is now the state's largest wildfire. This is not unfortunately a life-saving mission. This is a recovery mission. And so the objective here is to be very thorough and make sure that we don't leave anyone behind. A mission Ohio Task Force One takes seriously despite some unique circumstances. This is a little different. It's not the full task force that's going out there. Uh, we sent three of our handlers out there to Hawaii and um, so they're on their own but they are actually attached to other task forces. The canine handlers from the Ohio Task Force One teamed up with Nevada Task Force One and California Task Force Six. It's a unique partnership but that's not the only unique experience for the team. A couple of them have traveled via airplanes but never as far as Hawaii um, so that's a little different and then uh, as I think about it these three handlers um, have not been attached to other task forces. Typically, their missions last about two weeks, but Morgan says this one is once again unique. Unfortunately, this looks like this might be a long-term mission. Our, our general deployments are 14 days, so I would expect them to be out there probably close to that 14 days. The crews in Hawaii are set to be working until midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. And Ohio Task Force One told me that they hope to have more updates from their team in Hawaii by tomorrow. Back to you.